7.30 in the morning. Hurricane season. And look at the beautiful weather. You can feel the wind though. Alright, time to get prepared for today. Let's see what I'm gonna do today. Look at that nice yacht that's coming in now. See, that yacht can go to Khaki and not get kicked out. Beautiful yacht. never litter in the ocean especially with something like this oh well, by the way yeah yesterday I lost about 250 feet of this in the ocean so my bad that was not intended it was the fish fault This is what I do. I run a loop like six, eight times. And then I start rolling the rail. That way it doesn't spin on the rail. So always carry some extra wire. But you never know what's gonna happen. Now I prepare this leader. This metal leader here. That way I don't lose any more fish. So I'm tired of losing fish. They came and cleared out the whole island there.
I really like the ruins of the old buildings. It gave you a lot of history about this area here. Very sad to see it go away. Let's go deeper.
I'm going to show you why I need a solar panel on my boat. And here, it's a lot of electronics to be charged. Let me show you what I'm charging now. And they draw a lot of power. See, right now, I'm charging a drone battery. It consumes a lot of power to charge up. I also have a 110 inverter, and I have a secondary backup inverter. So I got two of them. So I can charge anything that needs 110. I have two batteries. Right now I'm charging number two battery. And then later I'll switch it. I'll switch it to number one. So I have two batteries and all the time I need to have them fully charged because I draw a lot of power. And if I want to change the charging of the uh, solar panel, all I have to do is change the alligator clips to the other battery. And that will be it. And also here, I try not to leave it on at all times, is the uh, GPS map plotter. It's drawing a lot of power. So I don't leave it on all the time. Here, your marine VHF radio also consumes a lot of power. So I usually try to keep it off so it doesn't consume my battery. And at nighttime, I try to turn it on and off uh, to see what the depth of where I'm at. And the radio, I always keep it on and I'm drawing a lot of power at night. And the night lights, uh, using a lot of power at night also. And this here's my navigation light that I have to have on all night long to keep it from having any other boats crash into it. Which I don't know if anybody's gonna be flying through here. Um, there's streets all the way around. So what I did was I installed a solar panel up here. Very simple to do. The reason I chose a flexible one is because it needs to be flexible when this moves. And the wire will come through here all the way through here all the way it's all done here there's a hole down there and in here I have the control panel the battery right now is fully charged and also here you have a USB port so if you want to charge a tablet or phone or anything, you can install it right here. Uh, let's say it's raining and you don't want nothing to get wet, this will be the place that you want to hook it up to. The controller will do everything. Uh, it will control the battery power and everything that it needs. So very inexpensive and it works for me. I can stay out here in this beautiful place. And this was the place that it was the driest for me to put it. And I didn't have to drill anything. All I did was two-way uh, 3M tape and it stays put. And this is the wire that comes all the way down to that wire there. That goes all the way to the family. And the other two wires will come down here through the harness. The harness all the way to the battery. That's where you saw the alligator grips. I will put the link in the description below if you want to check it out. Uh, see if it works for your boat the same as it works for me everybody has a different need um, i don't need a lot of power to run my boat so this is enough power if you need to get a powerful one they do carry a uh, more powerful one than this one i believe it's over 100 watts this unit is 70 watts and the next step up will be the 120 watts it's perfect for me for my use it's very important to have power if you're gonna stay out here for a long time and it's well worth it because look at the view I got here look at this view and at the bottom here all I did was connect some bungees here and 
from the other side too. So it stays put and it's flexible. And it's also black so it matches with the bimini top so you can hardly see it. Beautiful. Not even one boat in sight. I got Honeymoon Harbor all to myself, which is very rare to have, but it's hurricane season. A lot of people, especially in sailboats, are afraid to be out there in hurricane season. I don't blame them. That's why motor yachts and boats can come here anytime they want. It's because they can leave. They don't depend on the wind to leave here to come and go. That's why the motor yachts have an advantage against sailboats. And last night, I was docked right there and about four feet of water. And it was so wavy because the current came from here. See that current? It was pounding me right there. So I woke up two times and about two in the morning, I decided to go all the way to that corner there. All the way to that corner where it's more blocked by the wind there. So I can have a good night's sleep. And look at this huge stingray that is coming here. There's a shark behind him. There's a shark over there. And look at that stingray. Look at that. Humongous. Come to the front so you can see. There it is. Look at that. He is huge. Look at the shark. The shark is following the monorail. There he goes. Wherever the monorail goes, the shark is following. There goes the giant stingray again. Look at that. 